In this video lesson, let us understand regarding the structure of the carboxylic acid. The general representation of carboxylic acid is R C O O H. Now what do we observe here? The carbon atom of the carboxylic acid has undergone sp2 hydridization. I repeat. The carbon atom of the carboxylic acid has undergone sp2 hybridization forming three sp2 hybridized orbital and all the three sp2 hybridized orbital they all lie in the same plane and they maintain a bond angle of 120 degree. Because they all lie in the same plane, they maintain a bond angle of 120 degree. Obviously, if it is sp2 hybridized orbital means they definitely need to be maintaining a bond angle of 120 degree. Now, the carbonyl of the carboxyl, carboxylic acid, this carbonyl functional group of the carboxylic acid is not having the regular carbonyl property as will be absorbed in other carbonyl compounds. The reason for this is that they have undergone resonance. The resonating structures are being shown to you here. Now, this bond is for the attachment of the R. The R can be an alkyl group or an aryl group. Aryl we usually write it as AR. It can be an alkyl group or a ryl group or maybe even hydrogen as in case of formic acid. So let us not worry about this attachment. The focus is only for the remaining portion of COOH. In that what happens is carbon is attached to one of the oxygen atom by double bond, double covalent bond and to the other oxygen by single covalent bond. Now the carbon to which it is attached with oxygen by single covalent bond will be having two lone pairs of electrons. These electrons are responsible for the resonating structure of the carboxylic acid. Now what happens? This electron cloud will shift towards this particular oxygen. Therefore this oxygen end will take a negative charge. And this carbon and oxygen will be now linked with a single covalent bond. Therefore, in this particular position of the carbon atom, an electron deficiency arises. So, therefore, the structure will be looking like this. This shifting of the electron cloud makes the oxygen a negatively charged end. And the carbon, because electron cloud has shifted, carbon will be having a positive charge now, deficiency of electron it will experience and therefore what will happen? The lone pair of electron, one of them will shift towards this carbon. Therefore, this carbon and oxygen would be now linked by means of double covalent bond. Now, you can look at this. What has happened now? The oxygen end has gained a partial negative charge and the OH carbon, no, sorry, the OH oxygen as attached to the carbon by double covalent bond and still it is having a lone pair of electron. One lone pair is been shared so therefore this end will be experiencing a positive charge. So what do we observe here is the carboxylic acid is showing resonating structure that means changing of the electron cloud. Pi electron cloud is changing the places and finally it is giving rise to a structure which we can call it as a resonance hybrid wherein we observe carbon is related to one oxygen by double bond another oxygen by single bond as like the one that we have observed in the beginning. So because of these resonating structure the carbonyl group of the carboxylic acid cannot act as an electrophile like other carbonyl group containing carbon carbonyl group containing organic compounds. 
this is the difference in the behavior of carbonyl group so therefore they do not undergo addition reaction with respect to carbonyl group as we can see it in other organic compounds containing carbonyl group so therefore this is what is the structure of the carboxylic acid the next video let us learn regarding the general methods of preparation of carboxylic acid